Hey everyone, this is Matt from Rodomaticus.com and our, our good friends over at Ask Mr. Robot have just released their new Android application uh, for, their, for their stat optimization service. The iPhone version is slated to come out uh, fairly soon. Uh, this app in particular is about $1.94 on the Android marketplace. And I just picked it up and I've just set it up. I figured I'd give you guys a walkthrough just to just do a quick video review of the application before to help you decide whether or not you want to invest in it. So I'm going to run it right now. And the first screen it takes me to is the uh, is the screen where I can uh, set up my characters and, and import and all that stuff. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is add my priest. The realm would be Nerzul. The name would be Maticus and load. It's now loading my character. I apologize for the resolution and the possible fuzzy blurriness. I'm recording this on my iPhone. I right, go figure. So as you can see, this uh, this has just loaded up uh, a list of items that I currently have equipped on my priest. On the top left corner here, you can see my current spec, which is discipline. Um, it tells you the date, obviously, in the server and the realm, uh, the, and the date corresponds to when I just, uh, the last update I made. On the top right corner, it shows me my current gear. If I pull out, this would be the, yeah, this is the everything I'm wearing right now as of the last update. Uh, if I wanted to, I can switch that and switch it over to a best in slot list instead. Whoops, that's the wrong button. And this will show me an entire list of the best possible uh, armor, weapons, items, everything that I can get on my priest at this point in time. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, what I can do if uh, if I want to... Let's just check this stuff out right now. Um, let's say I want to explore a new weapon. I can click on... Let's go back to my gear for a second. So let's be realistic here. For some reason, it likes loading up my mercurial mantle for whatever reason. My gear, okay. So this now has all my current gear equipped. If I hit the list, this shows up all main hand weapons and where my weapon currently ranks right now on the scale of awesome. In other words, the best in slot list. As you can see, Andoros, the Fist of the Dragon King, is the best weapon I can get on my priest. However, Incineratus is second, so I'm right behind there. Or I'm right up there, rather. And you can just go slowly down the list to determine uh, what items you can get, especially for those of you who are gradually uh, looking for items to pick up for your characters. So I'm just going to go and quit out of here for a second. So here's one. Here is my, what is this, my Mercurial Cal. I can go into this. I can't exactly, you can see the current, this is the actual item that you have right now. If you really want to optimize it, what you can do is uh, there's an optimize button. Whoops. And that'll switch it. You can toggle it between your optimized and your current armory setting. Apparently, my current armory says I have mastery, but optimized it has haste. So I am apparently not optimized for my current spec. Bad me. Right, let's go back. And that's more or less it for the main uh, screen here. Uh, the list just goes on and on and on. At the very bottom, you can see there's a couple of additional options here. Uh, this left one uh, obviously shows our current items and gear lists. The second one would probably be f more for things like... Um, oops, that's not that right thing to do. The second... Yeah, the second little gear icon right here. This one will take you to the settings page, so you can explore different uh, things like stat weights or change specs, uh, options and filters. So if I really want to, I can kind of adjust the the list of weapons it uses. Right now for my gear level, I am using uh, tier 11 heroic. Uh, I am not including any PvP gear. You can see the weapon types here, all types. Uh, it allows me to select my race, my profession. I can I can adjust my healer preferences from, uh, for example, throughput to... Uh, what does this button do here? Whoops. I didn't do that. Looks like throughput or mana, as always. I In this case, I've got throughput selected. And if I really want to, I can adjust and exclude certain items as necessary. Things like 
uh, reputation items, really expensive things, archaeology, and uh, so on and so forth. I'm going to back out of the screen, let's see what's next. Change spec. Simple enough, let's just change it to holy. And it's loading. And naturally this will readjust all of the stat weights so that uh, it optimizes for holy instead of my current setting which is uh, which was discipline. That's pretty much what that button does. And now let's go on to view stat weights. So this uh, on this screen it tells me uh, how the different uh, stats are allocated and how they're weighted. Uh, if I want to I can go back a screen and actually change them under advanced stat weights. Ooh, it's advanced. Uh, I guess it's not for the beginners like me. Uh, so for those of you that are really, really hardcore when it comes to this type of stuff, you can actually specify your own stat weights. And uh, Mr. Robot will, re will then recalculate your optimizations based on your own preferences. Okay, I'm just going to save this. What else do we have here? Let's go back to that other settings screen again. Whoops, not that button. Went back to the home. Let's see that here. There's a problem. See the home button and the gear button too close together. Or maybe my fingers are just too fat. I don't know. Oh, that was the options page. There's nothing else on the options page really. There's a uh, view stat weights and presets and other stat weight stuff. Let's move on over. Let's see what else we have here. We have the this little looks like a little bar graph of some kind. And this page shows or this screen shows things like uh, the different. Um, uh, stat ratings I have here, or the stats rather. So this shows my uh, intellect, my spirit, my mastery, unbuffed versus raid buffed. Wow, really? That much spell power difference between unbuffed and raid buffed? Holy cow. Anyway, um, trying to thought. So if I want to optimize it, I, I can tap that and that'll show me the optimizations that I can make to further increase that. Uh, and this would be under, uh, and this obviously takes into account the different um, different reforges, other augments, and so forth. Uh, best in slot actually shows the best possible gear and items you can get, uh, along with the best possible augments you can and changes you can make, and um, and it just throws those values out. The I believe they call it deltas here. You really incredible smart math people probably know more about this than I would, so I'll leave you to it. Uh, that's what this that's what this screen does and there's one more for us to check out here this I believe takes us back to the front page uh, this is where we can save and load different profiles uh, so I can save my current preset setup for the time being um, I'll just update it for now updating profile cool I can if I want I can reload and refresh the current character maybe I've gotten a say a new drop or a new weapon and I want to recalculate all this stuff again uh, that's what I would do. And if I want, I can also switch characters. I can look at recent characters, pre-mades, and check out my saved profiles. And just for fun, let's load up one of my DPS characters. We'll load up Sephira, my good uh, elemental shaman that I jump on if I'm if I get tired of uh, of carrying the team on my back here, healing. Let's see. It's elemental. Same deal as always. Um, it tells me exactly how I've adjusted my optimizations and it tells me what's been uh, not reforged and what hasn't been. If I were to hazard a suggestion, I like how on the website it does a, a little red border every time something is not done properly. I would suggest something like that being done here to make it uh, really visual and stand out for the rest of us. And yeah. So here's some more items here. You can see. Uh, what does this button do? Whoops. I think I just accidentally highlighted a whole block of text. Didn't mean to do that. And uh, the top right, you can see that this character is 89% optimal. Uh, definitely not at the high end elemental shaman uh, gear or optimization yet, unfortunately. Anyway, that's that for Ask Mr. Robot. Um, any questions, you can just go visit AskMrRobot.com and uh, leave some questions and comments on their forums. Uh, they're, they're a great bunch. You can uh, go to them for any questions you might have or any issues or, or problems with their, uh, their program and software. So just keep in mind the Android uh, version literally just came out 
uh, on the 28th. And there may or may not be a couple of bugs in the system, so bear with them and please let them know and report them. Uh, you can follow me, I'm Maticus on Twitter. Uh, for Ask Mr. Robot, just follow Ask Mr. Robot. Fairly straightforward. Uh, both groups will be going to BlizzCon this year, so uh, do come by if you're, if you're in the area and come say hello. We promise we won't be angry and uh, we don't bite. Oh, uh, and if you are going to BlizzCon, I do have one request to make of you. Please, 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 wear the stick. I beg you, please wear the stick. That is all. Until next time.